Hey, it's Jen here. What's up, frugal peeps? So today we will be reviewing Fitrol socks. Um, I was approached by the company, so of course this is a freebie for me. Um, but you know, if it's garbage, I'm gonna tell you. And these are not garbage. Um, my son wore all of all the socks before I decided to give a review because I wanted to know how they held up in the wash. I wanted to know how they held up to his where he's 12 and he's crazy and he's outside walking around on the gravel. So I wanted to know, are these socks going to be worth my money? Would I buy them as a mama on a budget? You know, we have six kids. So anything that we buy, I have to carefully budget for and I have to make sure it's worth it. So I think, you know, we've talked about this before. My husband husband is the only one that works. I do run a small business, but I don't bring in a lot of revenue. Um, prior to that, I worked as a paramedic, but I got really sick with autoimmune disease. And so I've been just trying to figure out how to stretch our dollars because we went from a six figure family to half of that. And, you know, with six kids, that's a lot, you know. So, um, and we're like you, we have a mortgage, we have lights, we have phones. Um, some of the things that, you know, we do to save money, of course, is by use, but socks are not going to be something that you're going to want to buy used. Anyway, uh, I'm tired of going to Walmart and buying socks, and two weeks later, they're completely threadbare. Like, that's just, that's a waste of my money, right? You're going to spend $10 on a pack of socks, hold up a little bit longer than two weeks. So, um, anyway, I was really impressed with Vitrol. Like I said, my son wore these outside on the gravel and all over the yard without shoes on. He doesn't listen. He just does what he wants to do, right? Like, he's not going to wear his shoes. But he said they were really comfortable, and he didn't feel any pain. And I'm telling you, like, these are really thick socks, like super thick socks. So um, he had a lot of padding. Um, as you can see, like, he's already worn them. So I, we aren't uh, one of those families that, like, okay, we're going to wash the darks with the darks and the whites with the darks. No. Like, everything just gets thrown in together, including towels. So we get a little lit on our clothes. I'm sorry. We're lazy. But um, anyway, uh, they hold up really well. Like, it's got a little bit of piling. But I would expect that from anything cotton, right? Like, especially since he's worn them outside and wore them. But they're not, like, worn by many means. You know what I mean? Like, they're not threadbare. So like that. They also came with this really cute bag, and he's he's had a lot of fun with this bag. Um, he puts whatever in there. I asked him to empty it out so I could have it and show it to you guys. But it's just like a nice, cute little bag. So that's fun. So I would say that these socks are worth a little bit of extra money that you're going to pay for them, um, only because they're quality and they're going to last longer. And that's important because when you're buying something and you're thinking about what kind of effect is this going to have on the environment, um, you want to buy something one time and make it last. So I feel like these are going to be socks that are going to last three, four times as long as the socks that we've been getting at Walmart. So, um, you guys are my kids. Aren't they crazy? But anyway, so you guys stay frugal. If you're interested in the Fitrol socks, check my links below. They're down there. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if anything changes, uh, I will update you. If anything you know, if I feel like, well, these socks are not the quality that I thought they were, I'll let you know. All right, you guys. Stay frugal.